In this problem, we want to find the volume of this sphere. And there are two approaches that I'll take here to finding the volume. And one approach is to use the formula right, for the volume of a sphere that's, I think, most common. Um, I always like the fact that I heard it in the new Star Trek movie when Spock is, is at his home planet, and it's one of the formulas that they're memorizing. But anyway, the formula is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And what this really means is if you have a, a radius cube, a cube that's the size of the radius in every direction, about 4 thirds times 3 or times pi of those cubes will fit in the sphere. right? Uh, it's basically a, a little bit more, right? A little bit more than 4. Um, another way of looking at it is to say that the volume of a sphere is equal to two-thirds of the volume of a cylinder. And in other videos I talk about how these formulas really are all identical, right? These, the four-thirds pi r cubed can be thought of uh, with a few simple algebraic steps as being this formula here, but I'm going to explore both approaches in this video. Um, if you want to know how they're connected, just find the other video. We'll call it something like um, understanding the volume of a sphere as the volume of a cylinder, something like that. So anyway, what do we do? Well, let's take the 4 thirds pi r cubed approach first. So 4 thirds times pi times the radius, right, times the radius, times the radius. So the key is here, you might notice, we need to find the radius. If they give you this number 6 right here on a solid line, that means that this line is 6 centimeters. So, and that line is the diameter. The radius will be half of the diameter. That's the definition of a radius. A radius is half diameter. So a radius goes from here to here. And then the radius equals 3. So we have 3 cubed, right, times 4 thirds pi. I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. 4 thirds times 3 times 3 times 3. That's 3 cubed times pi. I'm going to cancel two of these 3's out. Makes that problem a little bit easier. 3 times, because here it's just 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 4 times 3 is 12 times 3, <coughs> excuse me, is 36. So 36 pi, this is in cubic centimeters. That's our volume. Nice and straightforward approach. But I do enjoy the, this other approach as well because it's telling us that if you were to take a cylinder, right, and make it so that the cylinder basically held this sphere with inside, inside of it and it fit perfectly. What happens is if you find the volume of the cylinder, right? imagine the sphere fits perfectly inside this cylinder I'm drawing. But what happens is if you take the volume of this whole cylinder right, and compare it to the sphere, the sphere fills up exactly two-thirds of the cylinder. And that's, I think, a very neat property. So what we can do is say, well, what's the height of the, the cylinder? Well, the height of the cylinder is the same as the diameter of the sphere, because the sphere fits right inside and diameter is the same all around. And the radius of the cylinder is also the same. So the radius is 3, and the height is 6. The height is the diameter. So we take 2 thirds, right, times the radius squared, which is pi r squared, which is 9, right? The formula for the volume of the cylinder, if we've forgotten, is pi r squared times the height. So here I'm squaring the radius to get 9 times the height, right? And again, the reshuffling, 3 goes into 6 twice, and we're multiplying all this by pi. So it's 2 times 2, which is 4 times 9, which is 36 pi. And just to point it out, we do get the same answer here, and this is in cubic centimeters. So that's how I'd find the volume of this sphere. Hope that helped.